Good morning, my name is Barry. I'm Tyler, we're here with Satellite Phone Store to talk about some of the differences between our satellite hotspots and data terminals. Today we have for you four devices, uh, the Iridium Go, the iSat Hub, BGAN 7 or 510, and the BGAN 710. Uh, we'll start with the smallest guy in our lineup, this is the Iridium Go, um, 2.4 kilobytes per second, omnidirectional antenna, uh, best use voice and text. Um, one thing that's going to be remain consistent for all of these devices is they're all going to connect to your smartphone or tablet via Wi-Fi. Um, really nice feature just because we get to use a device that we're already familiar with. This is a very popular device with backpackers and sailors um, just because it doesn't require any pointing to register with the network. Um, very straightforward, very basic communication device, but not going to give you full access to web browsing or Gmail, things like that. If we want to go with things like that, we want to start looking at the iSat Hub. So the iSat Hub is an entry-level device. Uh, it's a small, compact device. Uh, battery is in included inside the uh, terminal itself. So it gives you flexibility and portability. Uh, it will give you speeds of up to 100 kilobytes per second. That's enough to uh, connect online browsing, as well as check your emails and send and receive files. Uh, next step would be looking at the Big N 510. The Big N 510, also very portable, the stand folds flat. Um, again, just like the iSat Hub, it's going to require to be pointed at, to register with the satellite network. Um, both the devices are fairly easy to point. Um, they come with user-friendly apps that can assist with that process. Um, the Big N 510 uh, averages speeds up to 250 kilobytes per second, so a little bit faster than the iSat Hub. So once you're starting to deal with larger data transfers, emails with attachments, any kind of media, photos, that kind of thing, we want to start looking at BGAN units. Uh, BGAN 510's big brother, the 710, even faster. Yeah, so here we have the 710. Uh, this unit is very popular with media uh, as well as search and rescue. Uh, the speed capabilities of this unit is up to 650 kilobytes per second. Uh, additionally, you can tether a second 710 right next to it to double your speeds making it a more powerful unit on the go. If this were a scenario where you were backpacking or hiking, what would be your unit that you would select? Uh, if I just needed voice and text communication, I would definitely go with the Go. This slips into a backpack real easy, real quick and easy setup, um, and it would keep you connected with those uh, bare necessities of voice and text. Okay. Um, if you were doing something like that and need a little bit more internet connectivity, uh, if you want to check your Facebook or share your awesome climbing trip with your friends and on Instagram, yep. what would you go with? Uh, I would actually go with the 510. Uh, this unit is small, lightweight, but still powerful. Uh, it does give me that Wi-Fi connectivity. Uh, you know, so if I'm out there and I want to update my status or update my adventures, this would be my go-to device. Most definitely. So each of these different devices has different areas where they shine bright. They've all got pluses and drawbacks, um, but hopefully this video will help you make the right decision uh, for your needs. Um, wide range of products for a wide range of projects. Um, for more information, you can always give us a call or visit us at satellitephonestore.com. I'm Barry. I'm Tyler. Thanks for watching.